So I'm gonna be taking off the um, bags starting today. I'll most likely finish it tomorrow. But um, this is gonna be a different kind of video. So this is a for sale video for the airlift kit. Either the struts, the management, or the struts and the management. Um, let me check really quick so I can say it correctly because I usually do this setup anyway. So I have one fourth bag, so the struts are one fourth line, and the management is three eighths line. So the reason I do that is because it gives the what do you call it? It airs up and airs down like mid and at a medium speed. So three eighths is fast, one fourth is slow. And then this one is like in between when you do this. Um, I did this on the Skyline. I did it on the 350Z. I did it on the black E36. And I did it on this one. That's the setup that I go with. Um, yeah, no particular reason other than I just like the speed that it goes up and down. This is also a dual compressor kit. And the way that you run the lines is you just put the adapter. And it's like 10, 20 bucks for a pack of like 10 or 20 on Amazon. So it's not anything crazy, but it works. And that's just what I do. But um, yeah, I'm most likely gonna have to bring the car to the side and then I'll probably start with the front today. Um, and then if I finish that quick, I'll do the rears. But um, yeah, I'm, most, I'm aiming to finish it tomorrow. Today's Thursday. I believe the 18th, tomorrow will be ninth, the 19th. So um, that way you guys know that this video is updated and the kit works. So you can hear the manifolds and the thing filling up. Uh, let me show you guys the remote. So you guys can see it right there, the PSI is going up and then, oh, I mean, I guess I could just spare the car up right now. And boom, the car is aired up. So yeah, the kit works, it works fine. So um, yeah, I'm asking 2,500 for everything together. 2,500 our best offer. Um, and then separately, I'm asking um, 1500 for the man, um, 1500 for the struts, 1000 for the management. So, you know, but yeah, make an offer, make offers, whatever. But, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when the kit's off because, yeah, driving the dagger. First time in maybe like a in like six wait way more than that. I don't even remember how many months it's been, but uh yeah. So I took the front of static right now and the back is bad just like the X5, which is pretty funny. But um yeah. I just had to move it. So I figured I'd take it around the parking lot and then put it where it's gonna go until tomorrow. actually gonna lower the back all the way out and do that squat thing that people be doing give me a second but yeah there we go it's gonna be left here until tomorrow and we're gonna finish it the car will be static 
And then I'm gonna message the buyer saying the car is ready, because after that, it'll be ready. But um, yeah, it actually looks really good on these wheels. Like these are just some, like for those who don't know about this car, these are just some cheap like BBS reps that I got for like a hundred dollars or something. I don't even really remember. But um, I just needed something to take the three-piece wheels off that I had on there. And that was it. So um, yeah, it's a good look, especially for some reps. They're not bad. Like who knew? But um, yeah, I guess. We're done for now. Well, I guess I could just do this really quickly. I'll just, you know, just to see if it works, of course. been sitting so it's smoky so I'm basically done taking out the um the airlift kit from the e36 but um I wanted to show you guys something so the power line like the trigger power wire thingy the pink wire that's on the airlift kit the easiest way to do like a power on from the front like if you're running everything to the front it's to the power wire that goes to your radio because that is a power wire that goes on with the ignition so the easiest way to do it is to just splice it into there boom like this you could also solder it but i didn't have a soldering iron and i wasn't sure if i was going to keep this in forever so it's easy that way you could also cut it but i'm just going to pull it off and boom there we go and that's done so yeah wrap this up so this doesn't touch anything and then you'll be all set and again this is a cheap like radio thing and i really do like it like let me see if i can remember how to even use this thing uh, oh yeah volume um let's see home usb no usb um sd reading sd and like if you have videos on an sd card Like, bruh, this thing is so sick for such a cheap double din. Oh my, no, I, I can't even flex. Like, this thing really is good. Uh, let's see. I don't even know any stations, but, um. Yeah. All right, so. Is a stance in the car right now. The front's higher, but who cares? So, yeah, the car's static now. Um, now I just have to see if I just have to converse with the buyers and see if they want to do want if they want us to do the uh brake and suspension refresh or if they just want the parts and they're gonna do it themselves, but yeah. Here's the Dacker, down on all fours, static, and yeah, and there it is with the X5 behind it, looking menacing. This thing kind of looks like, like a pug or something, I don't know, but I like it. The X5 is a cute truck, so yeah, that's that. We're going to get this thing sorted, get this thing sold, get this thing sorted, get this thing sold, and then grab the new whatever it is maybe one of the e70 x5 ends or something who knows yeah it has a tint on it i just don't know how dark it is that ain't bad at all